Okay, ladies, I'm back. Um, and let me say this. Um, the diet works on a chemical breakdown, and it is proven by me. Do not vary or substitute any of the above foods, and they mean that, and that's true. Because I noticed when I substitute stuff, I didn't really lose weight that week. I lost some, like some weeks I would lose like three pounds, some weeks I used five, some weeks I would lose two. When I substituted stuff, I noticed I lose like two pounds. And so I was like, mm -mm, no more substitution, River. you got to get it together. So you can have salt and pepper. No seasonings other than salt and pepper. Um, where no quantity is given, there are no restrictions. And they mean the coffee and the tea. Um, let's see. This diet is to be used three days at a time in in day three, you should lose 10 pounds. I never lost 10 pounds in three days. The highest I've lost was, I believe, six or maybe six and a half pounds. But I'll take that. Um, after three days, you may eat normally. After eating normally for four days, start back on your three-day diet. You can lose up to 40 pounds a month if you stick to it. This is a safe diet. Remember, do not snack between meals. You are allowed soft drinks where it's permissible which is only lunch on the second day y'all um sounds incredible but for three days at a time give it a try um like i said i i didn't eat no candy i didn't chew no gum nothing not nothing nothing and when i say nothing i mean nothing if it's not on that piece of paper for that particular day, then I didn't eat it. Now, what you can do is you can take the dinner menu and eat it for breakfast. Or you can take the lunch menu and eat that for dinner. You know, you can switch it up as long as you eat what's on that line for that first day. And I mean everything to the T, you eat that day. I mean, what I did was I ate breakfast around 10. Because I had to be to work at um, 7. So I ate breakfast around 10 because I'm not a big breakfast person. So what I did was I had coffee or tea or whatever to tie me over until about 10 o'clock. Um, then um, I went to lunch at 1 to 2. So that's when I would do my lunch. And um, then I didn't eat dinner until about maybe 6. That way I didn't go to bed starving, you know. So I didn't do dinner until about 6. And what I did was I broke it down into, okay, well, I'm going to eat my apple now. And I made this may be like 4:30, and then I'll eat my broccoli or whatever at five o'clock, and then I won't eat my chicken or whatever I'm supposed to eat until about six. So it doesn't say that you have to necessarily sit down and eat that particular meal exact. So you know you can break it up, eat this one hour, eat that one hour, eat that one hour. So you're not sitting there starving yourself because you will get hungry. With 1,059 calories on one whole 24-hour period, you will get hungry if you don't break it down. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought this little scale. And it's called a kitchen scale. And it's got the little tray and, and all that, you know, with it. So this helped me weigh my, um, my meat. <clears throat> you know, because when it said three ounces of meat, you know, like I said, you get your tray and you get the little thing right here and you can see that it has the you know when you put the weight on it it has the little black thing that goes up and down so you set this on there and you just you know add whatever you need to add so you get to eight ounces or four ounces because everybody knows a half a cup is uh, four ounces a full cup is eight ounces and this holds eight ounces so you know when you get down to the eight that means you know you're done filling this up or whatever so and also um Towards the end, um, I started buying baby food because carrots, mm -mm, I'm like that baby, mm -mm. when you try to give it a spoonful of carrots, mm -mm, shut it down. Carrots shut me down. I hate them. I hate carrots. I hate carrots. But anywho, I bought these and these are just liquefied and they are carrots and water. No other ingredients, no preservatives, no nothing. It's natural um, baby food. It's just natural. They have organic or whatever for those of you who use organic. Um, 35 calories. 35 calories. And one of these is a half a cup. 
Oh wait, did I say that right? So it's a, two of these are half a cup. I'm sorry. So I would eat both. So I would eat one, um, probably with the chicken, and then I'd come back and eat the other one with either the green beans or something like that. So two of these equals your half a cup. So and then I got just regular green beans in a can, or you can get them frozen. But when you boil them, you boil them only with water, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's all. And I like my green beans cold. So sometimes I'll just pour them out of the can and eat them like that one by one. Um, beets. I know people get it's hard for people to eat beets. This comes in beets. So basically you, you either warm it up or you don't. And you just pour it down your throat and swallow it. You don't even have to chew it. Just swallow it. And if you hold your nose and swallow at the same time, you can't taste it. I learned that trick too from a friend of mine from my old job. But I, these are the beets. Um, Food Club, which is a grocery store brand. Um, I would get the Great Value brand, Walmart brand. Um, then these are the carrots, just the regular sliced carrots. Pour the water off. Pour the, the um, juice that's in here, pour that off, and then rinse them with regular tap water or whatever you use. Um, the peanut butter, I have the natural or organic, Skippy, you know, whatever's on sale is what I bought. This had just so happened to be on sale, so this is what I have. Um, and they say the natural is better for you anyway, and it's just roasted peanuts, sugar, palm oil and salt so for those of you who are definitely don't buy regular peanut butter this is good for you um, just regular saltine crackers and for the bread I use wheat bread when they said one slice of toast or whatever I use wheat bread because I don't buy white bread um, and as far as the um, as far as the grapefruit I don't eat grapefruit so I drink it I get the grapefruit juice and you can get a can of it from Walmart the big can of it um, or the carton or whatever you get and what I did was I um, poured it in eight ounces in my little tray thing make sure I had eight ounces and then I poured them in the Ziploc bags and I put them in the freezer so like Monday morning I would grab my little eight ounce of grapefruit out of the little zippy bag and stick it in a little cup when I got to work or whatever and then once it unthawed you know then I drank it or chew the ice you know because it, it becomes like a little slushy so that's what I did with that um just regular bananas um I ate beef hot dogs when it says two hot dogs or you can do regular hot dogs um like I said for the cabbage I did brussels sprouts because brussels sprouts are number small cabbage I never did the cauliflower broccoli I do get the steamers the bags they're called steamers or whatever and even if you don't if you get the Walmart brand or store brand of just the the frozen broccoli or whatever, poke a couple of holes on, stick it in your microwave, steams just as good as a steamer. Um, so you don't have to spend all that extra money. I bought just regular old vanilla ice cream, whatever was on sale. If it was Briars on sale that week, that's what I bought. If it was um, Blue Bunny or Great Value, whatever, whatever was on sale is what I bought. Um, and if you buy those little ice cream cups you see at birthday parties, I believe they're like two ounces or three. Something like that. So two of those will be a half a cup. Four of those will be, or something like that. You know, just a little cup, ice cream cup thing. Um, and that's basically what I did. Now, as far as exercise, I walked for one hour a day. I did 30 minutes before I got to work, or before I got to my desk. I would do 30 minutes when I got to work, and then when I left work, I would do 30 minutes on my way home. So I would stop at the park and do my 30 minutes, or however long I want to do. But I did one hour of walking a day. And weight lift, I would do weight lift like when I go, every time I go take a tinkle, I have weights in my bathroom. So I would just, you know, take them and lift them, you know, and I have 10 pound weights. So, you know, every time I tinkle, I'm lifting 10 times. So you may do 50 arm pulls a day. So, um, <clears throat> try it. Any questions or comments, leave it in the um, comment box and I can answer as many questions as I believe I can. So. Love you guys. YouTube, you are the best. And as you know, I'm up and out of here. This is your girl, Miss Re. Be blessed. And also, let me say this. I dieted Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, no nose. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe you can do, but I'm home on Sundays after church. And I love my fried chicken on Sundays. So, um... I ate moderate stuff when it says on those four days. I didn't go overboard. I didn't eat crap that I normally would eat. Fried chicken, you know, 
soul food food you know so just make you know common sense on what you eat you know i pretty much did the oodles and noodles salads you know stuff like that i kept it as simple as i could mostly salads is what i did like chicken nuggets you know stuff like that i didn't sit down and eat a triple with cheese and a baked potato and french fries and all that stuff because you're defeating the purpose of a diet defeating the purpose and i did take um like a colon cleanse from walmart i don't have the box and i don't know the name of it but it's cleanse something so i was doing that a little bit when i was doing it but i wasn't doing it every day because the diet pretty much worked on its own so if i have anything else i can think about i will come back in with another video ladies bye